Are you telling me that this person who doesn't understand anything about business is gonna start making 30K per month, 50K per month, 100K per month, and then is gonna leave you with 30% to 50% of that cash flow when they don't even know the value that you deliver in their business? Of course not. Humans are greedy. They're greedy. I've said this and I'll keep saying it. Growth operating for most people will not work. And let me tell you why. A lot of people who are getting into growth operating are beginners, meaning they have zero leverage. And then they're going after people who have some leverage, but the only leverage they have is followers. But their business acumen or their business insights and strategic and tactical insights of these creators or these influencers is also nothing. Before I share this topic, I first wanna share a few wins from our community. We have Abdul, who is I believe 18. He just sold his first 12K growth infrastructure. I don't know what niche is in, but I'm gonna throw a screenshot here. We have have Jamil, who's just closed a $20,000 upfront with infrastructure in the remodeling niche, as well as a longer deal. I'm also going to push his deal here. We have Zola, who just closed his first, I believe, 20K growth infrastructure, $9,000 upfront in the coaching space. He just joined our incubator, I believe, two weeks ago. I want to launch a challenge. Instead of me kind of like walking you what I did, I want to show you guys exactly how we scale our partners offers go from how we actually come up with insights develop the growth infrastructure live on a one-on-one -on -one call with me all of this for the small price of what it cost me to get my morning bagel every single morning which is nine dollars and 53 cents instead of me talking about this topic i'm actually going to read you guys the message from this member uh, he's actually not in the incubator or a partner he's in our natural born leader community right if you guys don't know about the community you guys should learn about it it's just 49 dollars a week to get started he said hey guys i've been deep in growth operating as a coo for a client that offered a program that helps people with diabetes i tripled their revenue from 20k a month to sixty thousand dollars a month uh, in uh, average monthly recurring revenue within two months working uh, with them through using tools like go high level make.com zapier smart lead gpt4 apis air.ai and even worked on developing an app for them through uh, flutter flow so he says i'm at a point right now where i feel like i have been underpaid and have demanded more pay in order to keep working with the client to which the reaction has been not to pay me money that they already owned me from sales generated. I only have one other client who make a lot less money from, but is a referral for my first client, and I fear uh, he will somehow ruin that client relationship also. I'm urgently looking to take on new clients and I'm absolutely shitting myself because everything was, uh, was flowing super smooth until now. I was making great money, life-changing money, but shit compared to uh, what the owners were taking home, of course who now have more time due to me running 80% of their business. Important for all the details here. 80% of the business, he's running it, literally leading the whole company for pennies. And uh, now he's just started looking for more clients. You know, he's using uh, Upwork and this and that and doing outreach for his build and release offer, which helps businesses rapidly uh, improve their online reviews. If anyone has uh, any leads, advice, or opportunities, I really appreciate it. Um, I did end up answering this um, kind of like post within uh, growth uh, within natural born leader community but I wanted to make a video about this you have two people who are somewhat beginners at all levels when it comes to growing and scaling a business who have just a bunch of attention and then this person comes here and is like hey can I work for free but get a percentage of sales that we make from selling to your audience and this guy who's also uh, a newbie who doesn't have knowledge about business is going to agree He's gonna be like, you know what? I have nothing to pay up front. Why, why wouldn't I want someone to spend their life working for me for free as a slave to build me the product, to build me the community, to build me the appointment setting flows, to build me all the strategy and all the tactics and the systems into the business and make me rich. Even I, as a dummy, I would say, of course I want a growth operator. Of course, it's amazing. So this is most of what's happening right now. Now, here is what happens. Let's say this does actually work. Let's say this smart growth operator is actually dialed in. In this case, Rob is a superstar. He's doing magic in this business, making them a lot of money, especially with an offer like diabetes. I'm sure they're solving a pretty important problem. So I'm sure people are buying it like crazy. But here is what happens. Because this guy is an idiot, the guy who has an audience, I mean, He's a great content creator, but they're an idiot when it comes to business. They know nothing about rules. They have zero integrity because they know nothing about how hard it is to build a business and make it successful. So therefore, 
the moment you start complaining about how much money you make, they're gonna take away the business from you. Like literally, in one second, if you even make their sugar in their body drop, they're gonna be like, hey man, bye, get, get out of my business. Why? Because they have all the leverage, you have nothing. The only leverage you have is experience. You just got a bunch of experience making someone money, doing a service, rendering a service, but you have no control. You have no control within that business, within that creator business. That's one side. So if you try to complain a little bit about how much money you're making and how the fact they're making a lot more money, they have all the control because now they're earning money. They can afford what? They can afford someone else who does a better job and they can hire an agency. Here's the other problem too. If let's say you had a 30%, 30-70 split, you're getting 30% of the business or maybe even some people are even asking 50% of the business. Are you telling me that this person who doesn't understand anything about business is gonna start making 30K per month, 50K per month, 100K per month, and then is gonna leave you with 30% to 50% of that cash flow when they don't even know the value that you deliver in their business? Of course not. Humans are greedy. They're greedy. Like the moment that the business becomes successful, they're gonna be like, I'm paying this kid $30,000 a month? For what? Paid ads cost two grand a month. A funnel designer costs like a thousand bucks. A, a community manager is like 1,500 bucks. Like for six grand, I could get the same services that I'm paying for. $30,000 a month? Get out of here with this growth operating bullshit. All roads lead to growth operating not working out. The growth operating model, although effortless, although pretty easy to sell, it's being sold to people like this is easy. It is not easy. Working for free is not easy. It is literally the least easy thing to do. Working for free and worse, even if you do become successful, someone is gonna take away all the efforts you, you put in. How is that smart to do? If you guys know anything about investing, number one thing they do when they're looking at a business is not how much cash flow. It's not how much volume of revenue. Are they making a billion dollars a year? No, they're looking at number one thing, what are their mo what is the predictability and durability of this income? I don't wanna spend 50 million to acquire a business that may not be here tomorrow. Look at all the companies that Warren Buffett has invested in. Apple, how hard do you think it is for Apple to go out of business? Pretty fucking hard. You should look at how much cash they have on hand. And secondly, you should look at how many users they have. Look at Coca-Cola. When are humans never not gonna drink sugar stuff? Never. Look at all the business that they're investing in. They're investing in some, some of the most boring businesses. Not because they have crazy cash flow and great profits, that's part of it, but because these businesses, these boring businesses will never go out of business. But for you, you're getting started on a path without looking at that. You guys are not mitigating the risk of lo losing. You guys are just looking at the positive. You guys are not looking at, oh, but I could die in business. This business could die. All from success, and you don't even realize that it's already hard enough to sustain a business. Even success brings on risk of failure to you is pretty crazy. What I've been suggesting to everyone listening to this is really simple. Charge for your services upfront. Get rich. Reduce all the risk of potentially being removed from the agreement of this business, blah, 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 blah. Get paid up front. Get paid up front. Get paid up front. Because you risk building something great and being kicked out any time of day and just being like, Oh, I did growth operating and I scaled the business to 100 grand a month. And if you know anything about build and release, we get our money up front. Always, always, always.